Hi, I'm doing Paul McCorter's Pico W lessons and I'm up to lesson number 69 and Paul wanted us to be able to cope with exiting the programme cleanly um, because if you don't make allowances for it, the thread is left running and you have to unplug and uh, your Pico and it's all very, very annoying. So he, in his lesson, was just using a flag I think he called his running I've called mine active and all it does is um, when you press Control C down here it says active to false and when active is false in the blinking thread it just says before it said while active uh, oh, sorry while true and it did all that and this time um, it says while active so that means that when you control C out of the program, hopefully it will stop um, blinking and that thread will stop. Uh, but I also put in here um, a sleep here um, and it is the maximum time that it will make it will take to um, finish doing that blink loop. So if you take the red on delay plus the red off delay and add them together and um, the green on delay and the green off delay you sleep for whichever one is greater so hopefully that will work and hopefully that makes sense so we'll just see what happens I'll run this program right it is going anti-clockwise so it's green It's going clockwise, so it's flashing red. If I let it get to the end, will it come back? Yep, now if I could go Control C now, and the flashing stopped. But I don't know if you noticed um, there that um, it didn't come back to the command prompt for a while. I, I'll try running that again. Right, what's down here where I'm pressing Control C now? Now the comp command print and that uh, prompt is back, and that's because um, it was waiting um, for the maximum time. Right, that wasn't really the lesson, but I just thought I would show that I had done it. Um, this is the homework, and what it does is you, you you've got a button my button is there and you're using the button to control the servo and if you press the button it will um, start the servo going from 0 to 180 and while it's moving it if you press the button again it shouldn't do anything and then um, when you press the button when it's stopped it will go from 180 to 0 if that makes sense now I haven't used global variables variables before because as in the previous one active is the thing that you're checking in your loop to see in your um, other core um, you're checking to see whether it's active and then it will do the business but you don't have to um, make it a global variable anything that is up here you don't have to make a global variable when you're going into the other um, using the other core using another thread unless you actually are setting the um, value of something so that is set there and that is uh, inside the other core and triggered is also set there um, in the main core which is why you need to make it um, a global variable there and there which is a bit annoying but you can get around it if you want to you can um, actually instead of saying triggered equals false you can say triggered equals like that you make it into an array with one element and um, then whenever you want to uh, access it you 
go like that. But that's a bit ham-fisted. I would actually prefer to have to use a global variable, although global variables are frowned upon in some quarters. So I will just pause the video in case everything goes horribly wrong. Oh, I, I haven't shown you the bit down here. On the control C, um, it says active equals false. And then it just waits do, 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 while the servo finishes moving. So hopefully that is what will happen. And then a little sleep just for the sake of it. So I will just pause the video because I don't want to have to redo everything in case it goes horribly wrong. Right, we'll just run this jolly old program and see what happens. Um, nothing's happening because I haven't pressed the button. We will press the button. Right, it's going 180. Right, it stopped. Press it again. And it's going back to naught. Everything's working so far. We'll press it. We'll press it again. Nothing's happened. Still nothing's happened. When it's finished, I'll press it again. Right, I'm doing Control C now. And you can see it hasn't come back to the command prompt and it was carrying on moving and then it um, stops. So there's my program.